Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. Before we get started today, I just wanted to show you this piece. This is a piece I did using the Blinget Interference Colors and a one of the Primary Elements Colors. And I just wanted to show you how pretty those Interference Colors are when they're dry and have resin on them. So I use no purple in this piece. It was a, an interference violet that I used. It's really, really pretty. So before we get started, I need to say thank you to a few people who have either made a donation to my channel or sent me something in the mail. The first one is my good friend, Zeke. I cannot thank you enough for your generosity. I love you. I hope you're feeling well, as I hope you're all feeling well. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Also, Elizabeth Riddle, Kathleen DeAngelis, Cynthia Burke, Barbara Billiter, Brenda Fry, Tall Oak Soap, Lena Coy, and Brenda Hall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your donation to the channel. I truly appreciate it. I want to show you guys something today and I'm really, really, really excited about this. So I've been doing these eight inch rounds. Well, this is a 10 inch, but I've been doing these eight inch rounds and people love them. The, the, the size, easy to hang, yada, yada, yada. Absolutely love them. But everybody's been asking me where I buy them from. And I get them at my local my local Blick store, and they're pretty pricey, 15 bucks for an 8-inch. So, Lole Vafe has designed some wood rounds for us, and I am so excited. So excited, because not only are they beautiful and lightweight, unlike the ones I was getting, they come in three sizes, and they are a lot cheaper than what I was paying. So this is an eight inch round, <clears throat> excuse me, eight, in, eight, eight inch round. It has the sides. It's hollowed out in the back, really easy to hang off a push pin, extremely lightweight. So shipping doesn't cost you your firstborn child. Um, Polonia wood. I believe I'm saying that right is what these are made out of. And I'm just really excited about this. Right now, she only has the 8-inch, but in about two weeks, I believe, she will have a 12-inch and a 16-inch. Woohoo! So these are 10 bucks. The 12-inch is going to be 12 bucks, and the 16-inch is going to be 16 bucks. Telling you, you cannot beat $16 for a 16-inch round. So that's a really good price. Another thing that she sent me that is new that I'm going to show you right now, which I've aptly named the big black one, <laughs> is spatula for spreading your paint. And four bucks, you can't beat it. So get yourself a big black one. <laughs> anyway, enough with the jokes. Let's have some fun. Let's mix up some paints and let's pour. The first thing we need to do is tape off our wood. So I do this a really simple way. I go around the back, okay, tape it off and trim it. That's if I don't want to protect the sides. On this one though, I want to keep the sides clean. So what I will do is I will go all the way around the sides, just like so. Okay, and then I will come back here and I will take a pair of scissors. I'll make some little slits like so and then fold it down. So now I've protected the side and the back. I like these wood rounds to have their sides naturally showing so that when I resin, you have a nice piece of artwork on top and a nice shiny wood side, okay? So I'm gonna go around, finish this off, and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I have my wood round all prepared. I have it up on a coupler that you can buy at Home Depot for 30 cents. They're in the plumbing department. That's what I use to hold up my wood pieces. They sit nice and flat. For this, I'm going to use one tube paint, which is Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex, and all five of the Blingit Interference colors sold by Color Art. I have a coupon in the description for Color Art products. These are the Blingit Interference colors that I will be using. So we have a red, a violet, a green, a blue, and a gold, okay? The way that I have these paints mixed up will be in the description also. And they are pretty thick consistency because I am doing a bloom recipe on this particular piece of wood. So in this cup here, I have some right from the can into the cup, white house paint. It needs to be semi-gloss. And when I say house, I don't mean exterior, I mean interior for your walls, just a white house paint. Now this is not your typical acrylic pouring recipe. This is what we use for this one outcome only. There are a ton of videos out there with Floetrol and water or using a pouring medium like a Liquitex pouring medium and water there there you have to do your research you have to watch older videos of mine and every other artist that you like to watch because there are tons of ways to do this acrylic pouring thing and you're not just locked into doing it this way my channel i have over 300 videos and if you go to the video link and click on that you just go down and order anything before October will have older recipes. I do have some newer videos with older recipes, but I'm just saying research, go back. I have a ton of resin videos. I'm a resin artist. So, um, you know, I like to do acrylic pouring, but there's other things that I do besides this. So we have our white paint down and I'm going to use my one color that I've decided on. And that is, the dioxazine purple, I'm going to put a small puddle right in the center and then two small puddles on both sides of that center. So one there, or I should say a puddle on each side. Okay, now I'm going to pile up my interference colors on top of that. So the first one will be gold. Then I'm going to go for blue. And you're gonna see this painting's gonna have a rainbow and a rain, rainbow of colors in it because you're adding in these interference colors. So now I'm gonna put red. Green, violet, violet and red on top of the green interference make this beautiful fire opal color, or I should say violet or red. They make a beautiful fire opal orange color, okay? And then we're gonna put one more drop of our purple. Now, the reason why we put it on the bottom also is because the interference colors will show up more if you have them on top of something dark, All right? So now here is what is going to make my cells and that is white Amsterdam acrylic paint mixed with American Floetrol. 
and it's roughly the same consistency as my colors. And I'm going to put a little wad of it right in the center. Okay. And then we are going to blow. We're going to aim our breath in the center of the white and we're going to blow it up over this row of colors and then the same way for the back. You want to make sure you're blowing the white over the colors, not under them. Okay. See how I start off light? To make sure I'm going in the right direction. Just like so. Give it a second to all come back. Flip it around. I apologize if I wasn't in focus for all of that. So now the good thing about putting the paint on the canvas and tilting it around just until the canvas is covered is you don't have to tilt as much as if you see people putting a puddle in the center of their canvas, putting the colors on top and then blowing the colors out and tilting all that paint off. With this way, you don't have to do as much tilting. And this is just gorgeous. So I'm just going to go really slow, pay attention to the direction everything's going in because you don't want to tilt off something that you really, really like. Okay. And then I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to bring it back up kind of center the whole thing and I'm going to leave it right there just like so and now what I will do is I will give you guys a close-up so you can see all those pretty colors because right now you're just seeing purple right so here it is just in the natural daylight. Head it back up and let it refocus there. Okay. And here we go with some light on it. So you can see we have blue and a little bit of gold there. And of course, it depends on how you move your paint around, how you blow it around, where these colors show up, these interference colors. But they're in there. And once the resin goes on, like you saw with the other one, they really, really sparkle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing if you're not already. Um, I have a lot of teaching tutorials already on the channel and a ton more that I will be making. Make sure you check out the description below. There's a lot of information in there, including my Facebook group, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. Come on over and hang out with us a little bit. Look how pretty that is. It's like snakeskin almost. Come on over and hang out with us. Share your art. Enter our monthly contests. And um, I will be getting to the resin videos soon. 
Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to make everybody happy. So I'm thinking the one day a week would be a positive thing for a resin video because I have a lot of ideas where that is concerned. And I want to really have people explore that medium. It, it's a lot of people are afraid of it, but I really, really love it. And I think a lot of you will too. So, and it's, once you get used to it, it's not scary at all anymore. But anyways, guys, I love you all. I hope you're all feeling happy and healthy. And until next time, my friends, happy pouring.